to Trinity Episcopal Church on this, uh, let's see, 24th, 23rd Sunday after Pentecost, even though it feels like it's about in the, oh, I'm, the teens or so, because how nice it is outside. Uh, but then again, who wants to repeat the whole election thing, right? <clears throat> uh, the election, the, let's try that again, the worship committee uh, will be meeting after church. We're going to discuss uh, the plan or a plan uh, for returning to church whenever we're able to do that. We're also discussing what uh, we're going to do for uh, Advent and Christmas, which is most likely here at this point, but uh, we'll be discussing that after church today. Later this week, Bible study, Wednesday at noon, there'll be an email invitation for that. Uh, Father Brian's office hours are Wednesday afternoon, but he is available uh, otherwise, uh, if necessary, at other times, Compline is Wednesday at 7, as we have been doing. For those who did not see the Taizé service, uh, which was last Wednesday, if you go to uh, Trinity's Facebook page or to Trinity's YouTube channel, you can watch there. Uh, one other note, way off in the uh, future, Vestry meeting is uh, Sunday, November 22nd. It will be two weeks from today following church. And now let us worship God together, beginning with hymn 362. <laughs>
us pray. O oh God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first lesson is from Joshua, chapter 24. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Long ago your ancestors, Terah and his sons Abraham and Nahor, lived beyond the Euphrates and served other gods. Then I took your father Abraham from beyond the river and led him through all the land of Canaan and made his offspring many. Now, therefore, revere the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. Now, if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods your ancestors served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Then the people answered, far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For it is the Lord our God who brought us and our ancestors up from the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, and who did those great signs in our sight. He protected us along the, all the way that we went and among all the peoples through whom we passed. And the Lord drove out before us all the peoples, the Amorites who lived in the land. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. But Joshua said to the people, you cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions or your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm and consume you after having done you good. And the people said to Joshua, no, we will serve the Lord. And Joshua said to the people, you are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord to serve him. And they said, we are witnesses. He said, then put away the foreign gods that are among you and incline your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. The people said to Joshua, the Lord our God we will serve and him we will obey. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day and made statutes and ordinances for them at Shechem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm today is Psalm 78. We'll read it together. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times. That which we have heard and known, and what our forefathers have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord and the wonderful works he has done. He gave his decrees to Jacob and established a law for Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know, and the children yet unborn, that they in their turn might tell it to their children, so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments. 
Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. Amen. The second reading is from 1 Thessalonians. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord that we are alive. We are left until the coming of the Lord. We will, we will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you. Glory to you. Jesus said, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids were lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout, look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, no, there will not be enough for you and for us. You'd better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Holy Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us pray. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. <clears throat> Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. 
We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this holy day and in communion with all the saints of every time and place, let us offer our prayers to the, to the God who loves us, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Church of God throughout the world, that we all may be one, and that the Spirit of God may confirm the Church in faith, sustain it in hope, and deepen its devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For those beset by persecution for righteousness' sake, and those weighed down by trial and distress, that the example of the saints may give them courage and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those suffering from COVID-19 in our state, our nation, and throughout the world. For those in the midst of economic distress, those in the midst of grief and loss, those serving at the front lines, those in refugee camps, those recovering from natural disasters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> For our nation, as we approach elections in our county, state, and national levels, that your spirit, O oh God, may reveal to us our basic identity as Americans and provide us with a peaceful and orderly process as we choose our public servants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in our midst and beyond with special needs, especially Bob, Phil, Catherine, Carolyn, Karen, Father Jeffrey, Greg, David, Jeanette, Judy, Andy, Wes, Betty, Sue, Harry, Rich, Rock, Doris, Linda, Naomi, June, Jen and Dale and their children, Jeff and Evan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who departed this life in faith and in the fear of God, that they may join the innumerable throng of holy ones gathered before the throne and the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Gracious Lord, strengthen us in our spiritual journey. Be with us now and always. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you. My own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hymn 383. <laughs>
us pray. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen.